Today I'll be making cocktails dedicated to two movies released on the same day this July. Oppenheimer, a boring, quality-made, three-hour epic about the father of the first nuclear weapon. And Barbie, a colorful fantasy comedy about how masculinity is bad. So, Barbenheimer. J. Robert Oppenheimer was not only the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, which during World War II developed the first nuclear weapons, but also he loved strong cocktails. Particularly, he respected dry martini, which he prepared according to his own recipe. A dry martini is typically 2.5 ounces or 75 milliliters of gin and half an ounce or 15 milliliters of dry vermouth, a ratio 5 to 1. Oppenheimer apparently didn't think it was strong enough, so he added 4 ounces or 120 milliliters of gin and a smidgen of vermouth, making the ratio about 16 to 1. Just like James Bond, he'd shake his martini and also make his signature honey and lime rim. And that's it. No bitters, no lemon zest and, thankfully, no olives. So let's get the glass ready. To a plate or a saucer, add honey and the same amount of lime juice. Mix it a little and dip the glass into this mixture. Set the glass aside and let's make the cocktail. The cocktail is shaken and to the shaker we're gonna add gin, 120 milliliters, 4 ounces and a smidgen of dry vermouth, just a drop. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. And fine strain to our rimmed glass. And this is how you make Oppenheimer's martini. Well, it is strong. <laughs> But it is not deadly. The honey lime rim gives it at least a hint of balance, but it's not my cup of tea. By the way, don't get confused by the blue gin, it's just a London dry gin with a little bit of coloring. To the next cocktail! Now let's make something nicer. Oppenheimer's elixir. The cocktail is also shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add dark rum. You can use spiced rum or any rum you like. 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Elderflower liqueur, Saint Germain or, or something else. One ounce, 30 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lime juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. A little bit of Demerara sugar syrup, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. And a little bit of aromatic bitters, Angostura in my case. One dash. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. And fine strain to the chilled cocktail glass. Garnish with a lime wheel. And this is how you make Oppenheimer's Elixir, which is a nice cocktail with rich notes of dark rum, delicate sweetness of elderflower liqueur and demerara sugar syrup. It's on the sweeter side, not too acidic. I like it, but it's pretty strong, so be careful. To be honest, you could use just a regular simple syrup. I don't think there would be much difference. Before we move on to Barbie, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my Patreon or to become my channel member on YouTube. Sponsors get access to additional content, behind the scenes footage and some other stuff. You'll help a lot by subscribing. All the links are in the description to this video and in the attached comment. Thank you very much. Now Barbie. I honestly haven't seen the Barbie movie and I don't know if they drink any cocktails there, though I doubt it considering the movie is PG-13, but that doesn't stop me from making cocktails based on the movie. Unlike Oppenheimer, Barbie is a comedy about a children's toy, so we'll make our drinks accordingly. Pink, sweet and happy. The first Barbie cocktail we're gonna make is a signature cocktail of my friend Roman and it is called Barbie Shop. The cocktail is shaken and to the shaker we're gonna add gin. One and a half ounce, 45 milliliters. Lychee liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Raspberry liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lime juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters. And simple syrup, which is one part sugar, one part water by weight. A third of an ounce, 10 milliliters. An egg white to make it nice and frothy. If you don't like egg whites, you can use aquafaba or bubble drops. Now you can make a dry shake without ice to make it frothy, but I'm gonna use a milk frother. Just put it inside the shaker and wait until the foam appears. Now fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment.
Fine straight to the cocktail glass. Add a couple drops of Angostura bitters on top and make it beautiful like this. And this is how you make Barbie Shop, which is a great cocktail. A nice mouthfeel thanks to the egg white. A little bit on the sour side, but not too sour. It's uh, citrusy, the lychee and raspberry tastes are also there. Great cocktail. It's in, in balance, I highly recommend it. And another Barbie themed cocktail, Citrus Barbie. It's an unusual mix of Campari, uh, limoncello and grapefruit soda. Let's make it. We have a glass which has been already chilled by ice. I'm gonna just throw the water out. And let's mix it right in the glass. Campari, Italian bitter liqueur, 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. Limoncello, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. Stir a little. And top up with grapefruit soda, about 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Stir a little more. Garnish with an orange chip. And this is how you make Citrus Barbie, which is a great balanced cocktail. The bitterness of grapefruit comes just perfect with uh, the bitterness of Campari. Uh, limoncello adds a bit of citrus. It's not too sweet, not too uh, bitter, not too sour. It's ideal cocktail. I highly recommend it. My friend Roman is a good bartender. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram. If you want to support my channel, you can join YouTube membership or join my Patreon. Thank you very much. You can find the recipes of the cocktails I make on my website dr-cork.com. Link is in the description to this video. Drink responsibly and as always, do svidos!